Okay, today I'll be showing my Kontiki 100 machine, which is a Norwegian-made computer from 1984, made by Norsk Data, or Norwegian Computing, that made another company called Kontiki Data. And as you can see, it's a built-in case with a numpad, arrow keys, function keys, standard QWERTY keyboard with the letters AO, the other keys is in Norwegian as well, help, help key, delete key, expand key, uh, regret, break, and the key called graphics, I have no idea what that is for. Uh, this computer ca could come with two floppy drives. This one has only one. It could also come with a hard, a hard drive controller, and the hard drive would stick in there. Uh, the floppy drives could come in various sizes, uh, in kilobytes, of course. This one is a uh, 200 kilobytes, I believe. And also have a color monitor, as long as and as well as a color printer. And what I find is quite interesting is that it uses the regular flat cables that were used in uh, more modern PCs as to communicate with the computer. Very interesting. Okay, let's boot it up. First, let's try a game called Tiki Invaders, which is a Space Invader clone. The power button is on the back side. Here is the boot up screen. It says Tiki 100, monitor version 2.03W. And if it can't fly, find a floppy drive, it would say insert a Tiki floppy drive, uh, floppy in and uh, press B but the, you can press whatever you want anyway so I have no clue why they said B and now it's booting up the game and here we go Tiki Invaders the planet Teak is threatened by uh, scary aliens from outer space. The colonists' only hope is you. You have uh, built an old uh, tank to shoot up in the air. Even if a uh, horde and horde with aliens come at you to take over Tiki, you must not give up. The tank can uh, withstand three direct hits before it destroys. And some uh, basic information about the controls and etc. And here we go. Oh. Uh, set an X, control, spacebar, shoots, and it's just a basic space invader actually. You want, may wonder why it's no sound. That's because uh, these computers were mainly meant for schools, educational purposes. And um, this could come with a built-in speaker, but most schools chose to not have these because, yeah, they would uh, make too much noise. Okay. But it have an RCA output, so you could connect it to a to an amplifier if you would like to have the sound. Now let's let's see. This is a program to communicate with a modern PC. And here is a program called Tiki Avis or Tiki Newspaper. Let's see how this works. Uh. 
Here is the startup screen. Tiki Data presents Tiki Avis by Alex Stuff. Hit to return. Well, this is basically a newspaper program with a uh, writing software, drawing software, print, layout, and quit. And I have actually had this print with a printer. I have some paper here. But, uh, the ink has run out now, so I can't really show it. But here's a here's some word files that I printed out. Uh, yeah. I basically just write whatever you want. Works quite well. Okay, let's try another program. This is the actual uh, operating system disk that it came with. It says Kuntiki Data AS, Kuntiki Hundo Programvara, Kuntiki Data AS, Oslo, Norway. Double density, 200 kilobyte. This is actually a CPM system disk that is uh, uh, rewritten a little bit to work on this computer and uh, it's renamed KPM instead of CPM and this is version 1.17 let's boot this one up Menu or in Norwegian, it's spelled with a Y. Menu, and here we get a graphical menu with uh, uh, quit the menu, file catalog, copy files, uh, something with the screen resolution, uh, program editor, copy the system disk, install it on a hard drive. Uh, etc. Format, simulate terminal, a Python game, which or a snake if you want, a chess game, and some other uh, functions. Let's try out Python. Ready? Yes. And here we go. A very simple uh, Python game. You can actually kill yourself if you go in the opposite direction of what you're going. Okay. Let's try another floppy that I have. This one contains uh, basic program language, Brum, which is uh, the most famous uh, word processor for this computer. Arc, I have no clue to what that is, and uh, Logo 1, which is probably some sort of graphical program. And here we have the contents. Let's try the word processor. It appears that a local resident have made this program as Vig is the last name 
that is quite common in this area and is also located some kilometers further to the sea here. And it's just an introduction of what it is. Uh, <laughs> quite hilarious actually. Hello, my name is uh, Brom and it's a word processing program. I hope we could uh, become good friends. If you have something to ask for, just press the help button. Uh, I'll be very pissed uh, or sad if, uh, or sad, no, uh, sorry. I'll never be uh, angry or uh, sorry or uh, sad, so just ask away. Uh, yeah. Hit the return button, start. And here are the files on the computer. Let's try one. Oops. Hmm. Blank file. Yeah. Whatever. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration of this old computer.